Dolphins Today is sponsored by Kinzuri. If you go to Kinzuri.com slash chat, you, you can get a great deal on their height-boosting shoes. We'll tell you more about them later on in today's show. Dolphins fans, I am Will Scott. You're watching Dolphins Today by Chat Sports. And before I leave, I just want to give you all five bold predictions for the Miami Dolphins 2023 season. And I do have some bold predictions coming up. But first, I want to hear from you all down in the comments section. What is a bold prediction you have for the Dolphins season in 2023? Let me know down in the comments section. What is a bold prediction you have for the fans? Curious to hear what y'all think. My first bold prediction here as, is that the Dolphins are going to have a top five offense and a top five defense. You heard that right. You look at Mike Medina, you look at Vic Fangio, those units are both going to be top five in the NFL, and that's how you win a Super Bowl, by having a really good offense and a really good defense. Both units got to be outstanding. Taking a look at the Dolphins' key offensive players, Tua Tungvaloa, that's our QB one right there. I think your top two running backs right now, and this could change if you get Dalvin Cook, are Raheem Mostert and Devon Chain. and then your top two receivers are two of the top receivers in the NFL, and Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell. And this defense is also swarming with talent. You got Jalen Rams. You got him at the trade. Or I should not trade deadline. I got Bradley Chubb to trade deadline. I got Jalen Ramsey in a trade a few months ago. Xavier Howard, Christian Wilkins, Javon Holland, and Jalen Phillips. I mean, those are six Pro Bowl caliber players. Not just Pro Bowl, but like first team all pro type of guys on that defense. And then you have Vic Fangio as the play caller, this defense is going to be amazing. And I do think it's very possible, and like I said, I'm predicting it, that the Dolphins are going to have a top five offense and a top five defense. And if those two things happen, I think the Dolphins will win this division and make a run at the Super Bowl. Want to shout out today's show sponsor, Kinzuri. Fellas, are you tired of feeling insecure about your height? Maybe you matched on Tinder, but her profile says must be over six feet. Maybe your date wants to wear heels, but she can't because it will make her taller than you. Well, I got the short kings covered with today's sponsor, Kinzuri. Kinzuri makes shoes that make uh, make you up to 2.8 inches taller without anyone knowing. Look, girls get heels, makeup, and push-up bras. Why can't men get a boost in confidence, too? We're all the same height lying down anyway, if you know what I mean. Kinzuri shoes are not only height boosting, but also stylish and comfortable. They're not grandpa's Velcro shoes, but fashionable shoes that can receive compliments even without the height increase. The height insoles are integrated into the shoes, making it the ultimate height hack. For a limited time, only our listeners get an extra 15% off your order at Kinzuri.com slash chat. The site is already 30% off, and with our link, you could get an extra 15%. That's 45% off your entire order. Support our show. Check them out at C-O-N-Z-U-R-I dot com slash chat. Life short. You don't have to be, though. It's time to level up the playing field, boys. Maybe update that dating profile to six feet. Kinzuri is an absolute game changer when it comes to your dating life. Shout out, Kinzuri. I think that Tua Tungvalu is going to to have an amazing season and finish top three in the MVP voting. I think this guy can win MVP, but my bold prediction is that he finishes top three in MVP voting, maybe right there with Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes. But if Tua stays healthy and the Dolphins win football games, he's going to be in that conversation. And keep in mind that last year, before Tua Tungavailoa got hurt, before the Dolphins went on that losing streak, Two was second in MVP odds right behind Patrick Mahomes. He was right there late in the season. Taking a look at the numbers here last year for Tua Tungavailoa, keep in mind he only played in 13 games. These numbers would have been even better had he stayed fully healthy. 65% completion percentage, over 3,500 yards, 25 touchdowns, 8 interceptions for Tua. I think he's going to build off that. We saw the potential in that first year in Mike McDaniel's system. This is his second year under Mike McDaniel. So 
What do you typically see when guys have a full offseason in a particular system? They skyrocket. I think Tua Tungvaloa is going to have an amazing season this year. He's just got to stay healthy. Even though I'm leaving the chat sports team, still going to have you covered with Dolphins news and rumors. They're going to be covered in the next couple of weeks before we uh, locate that replacement. Chat sports going to keep you posted on that news to come. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Do not unsubscribe. I promise you, you're still going to get great content here on Dolphins Today, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. I think the Dolphins are going to win the AFC East. And that would mean that Miami has won the most difficult division in football. The New York Jets are going to be good. They got Aaron Rodgers. The Bills have been the kings of the East for the last several years. The Patriots are still a threat with Bill Belichick, and they still might add some talent this offseason. But I think the Dolphins are going to be standing on top of the AFC East at year's end. I do believe that, and of course, if they win the East, uh, they could go all the way. But I do believe the Dolphins are going to win the East for the first time since 2008. We saw earlier uh, that the Dolphins, you know, we saw a few months ago the Dolphins made their first playoff appearance since 2016. I think we see the first division title since 2008. Shout out Chad Pennington. Chad Jones and Chad Pennington, man. Something about those Chads. But that's the last time the Dolphins won the East. I think the Dolphins uh, can get it done this year with Tua Tungvaluam. And Mike McDaniel, of course, I do believe that if the Dolphins win the East, that Mike McDaniel is going to win Coach of the Year. He's getting a lot of buzz lately about that. I do believe uh, that our guy Mike McDrippy can win Coach of the Year, will win Coach of the Year. That's one of my bold predictions here for the Dolphins. I love Mike McDaniel, man. Mike McDaniel's my guy, bro. I am so grateful that we have this guy as our head coach. I mean, what an unbelievable hire made by Stephen Ross last year. Mike McDaniel had a great season in Miami his first year. I think he's going to build off that, lead the Dolphins to the division title, win Coach of the Year this next season. And then for my fifth and final bowl prediction, the Dolphins are going to the AFC Championship game. The Dolphins are going to be there. Now, can they win it? Absolutely. But my bold prediction is that the Dolphins are going to win their first playoff game in 23 years and make the AFC Championship game for the first time in a long, long time. It's been a long time. Last playoff win, 2000. We've been so patient, Dolphins fans. Last playoff win was 2000. Last AFC Championship game appearance was 1992. Last Super Bowl appearance was 1984. And last Super Bowl win, and when you say Miami, was 1973. Been a long time, uh, but I think uh, I think the Dolphins are not going to have us waiting much longer for some of those things to happen. I think the Dolphins can go all the way, and I do believe they will make their first, uh, I should say, win their first playoff game since 2000, make their first AFC championship game since 1992, get it done this year. Now, how far can the Dolphins go in 2023? Let me know down in the comment section how far can the Dolphins go this season? Curious to hear what y'all think down in the comment section. And when you say Miami. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, youtube.com slash Dolphins News. Again, Chat Sports can have you covered here uh, after I leave.